right, so let's learn how to create this column over that changes the section background with Elementor. And for this, uh, it will be even easier than uh, usual because I prepared actually some templates for you to download. Here is the four columns version and above was the uh, three columns version. So I prepared uh, these. I think uh, they would be the, the most popular. And uh, if you understand the CSS, you will be able to modify it to uh, add or remove some columns. Uh, but yes, yeah, so how can you make this your own? So the first thing you will want is to go on my article. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. And then uh, you will scroll down to this part and you will click uh, on the link here. And that will bring you to the demo, a bit of a different demo than what I have. And also you will be able to download the template files uh, for each of them right here. And then when you have the template files, uh, if you don't already know, you can simply add a template by going in. Uh, there is a few ways to add a template. Let me, let me try to get, uh, here we go. So one of them is to go at the bottom of the page you're working on, clicking on this icon. And then you have here the, the little icon where you can uh, import a template and then you can select a file from your computer. And you can also uh, do it right from uh, WordPress. So it will work just fine. And then when you have your template ready and imported, so let me go back uh, here. So then you will want to select the section. If you have Elementor Pro, all the CSS you need will already be in the, uh, uh, on, in the section under advanced and in custom CSS. There you will find all the CSS you need. If you don't have Elementor Pro, if you are using Elementor Free, then you can go to my article and here you will find the code needed for the three column version and here for the four columns version. You simply need to add this code uh, anywhere on the same page uh, as your uh, section is and it should work. And, and you can see my article uh, here about how to add a custom CSS with Elementor free. So here you will find a few ways to make this work. All right. So after you've added the CSS to the page with, uh, with Elementor Free or Pro, the first thing you will want is to change the background images. So the default background image that shows up when you're not overing will be under style, and then it will be here. So you can change it to uh, the, ima the, the image you want. And then for the other three image that shows up when you over, three or four, depending on which template you have choose, uh, you will want to come here and change the URL for, for uh, and link it to your image. And then they will be able to show. So this was a CSS only design. There is no JavaScript at all that's uh, required. So it, it was a bit of a, a challenge uh, that I wanted to, uh, to resolve and it works uh, perfectly fine. So, and the advantage of not using JavaScript is that it's kind of more uh, really, uh, reliable. Uh, the performance is better, the transitions are smoother and there is a lot less room for bugs or, or such. 
And then the other thing you need to know to make it your own design is the, if we look at the CSS, so let me zoom in a bit. So I gave uh, the class over show to the elements that we want to see only when we over. And I gave the class show by default to the elements that we want to be always there. For in, uh, so in my example, the icon and the title, if we go have a look, they have the class show by default and the button and the text, they have the class over show. So this is the uh, other very important thing that you, uh, you need to know. And then you, you, you can use like whatever you want. You can place it in the uh, column and you can just give it the appropriate class and then it will behave the, exactly the way you want. So let me go back to the CSS. And if you want to uh, make uh, the uh, little animation a, a bit different, you can change the value here. So if you want to move just a little bit, you could change this to 10 pixels instead. And if you want it to move more, you can change it more. If you want to change the, uh, the timing of the animation, so you can change this here, the timing of the transition. And you will also want to change it here. This is for the, uh, the background image, the opacity and and transform, which I think is not needed. Uh, I probably just copy pasted it from above. So let me remove this. So the opacity of the background image and, uh, and here it's uh, how, how quick will be the, the transition. And then the results are as we saw. So this is for the uh, three columns. And this is the four columns version. I already had a similar uh, tutorial, but it was using uh, JavaScript and it was a bit less re uh, reliable. There were some bugs because you cannot animate the background image directly if you change it directly and replace it with another image. So now instead, if they are not uh, uh, directly animated. It's just that essentially all the background image uh, overlap each other, but they have their opacity set to zero until you over the appropriate column. So that's how it works. Uh, and I, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, let me know what, what else you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching and please uh, subscribe if, if you enjoyed. Thank you.